Hi. You may be asking yourself, shall I retire early or shall I stay on until I have to go? Now that's a decision that quite a few people have to make. My advice, and I strongly advocate, retire as early as you can. And I'd like to present you with five really good reasons why you should retire as early as you can. You might think, well, no, I'll stay on and get a little bit more money, be a little bit more secure. Just another couple of years will make all the difference. It will make all the difference. You will have lost two years of your retirement. So what are these five reasons? I'll deal with them one at a time. And they're so obvious when you think about it. The first thing is, the earlier you retire, in all probability, unless you're on some sort of rehabilitation, the earlier you retire, the more healthy you will be, the stronger, the more vigorous, the more enthusiastic, the less aches and pains, the more desire to get out there and do things, to live. Because when you're in good health, that is the natural corollary of good health, the desire to live more and enjoy more. So that's the first one, health. But stay with me, because there are four more yet to come. And I think every bit as important. First of all, when you retire early, you have a longer period, anticipated at least, ahead of you. This means you can make long-term plans and short-term plans. You can have short-term goals, what you're going to do on the weekend, what you're going to do by next month, what you're going to do in two or three years' time. If you are very old, you're not going to make four- and five-year plans if you retire early, you can make 10-year plans, even 15-year plans. You might have a big project that's going to take you a long, long time to do. If you're retired, you can do it if you retire early. So that's point number two. Retire early as you can. It gives you the option to do more things, make more plans and achieve more goals. And some of those goals might have been very important to you and you could not achieve them when you were working. But now you have the free time to do so. Third point, the bucket list. All of those things you ever wanted to do. Travel. It's far easier to travel when you're young. I can recall not very long ago, going along to a travel agency and asking them about, about, about my own travel. I just wanted to take a trip on a, on a cruise ship, just a few days. They told me, oh no, you're over 80, so therefore it's going to cost you £800 for insurance. $800 for insurance. $800 for a three day trip on a ship. Now had I been 60, 65, 75 even, would have cost me far less than that. I decided not to go, thank goodness. And as it was, COVID wiped it out the same year anyway, so I'm glad I didn't go. But to get back, number four, you have plenty of time to get into some sort of organisation. It might be voluntary work. It could be anything at all where you can fit in, in and be in for the long term. You could be on the executive, for example, of a voluntary organisation or the board of directors of a voluntary organisation. If you get in young enough, establish yourself and you have the power then to do some of the things that you've always wanted to do, to make your mark. The earlier you retire, the easier it is to establish yourself 
and work yourself into the position that you want to be in so that perhaps you can help people. That might have been something that you've always wanted to do. Retire early and you can do it. Final thing, and it's important, the earlier you retire, the more confidence you have of going out to the world, mixing with new people, making friendships. And if you retire young, those friendships are liable to be longer, more lasting, deeper, close relationships. If you decide to go at 70, it's harder to make friends at 70. It's harder to get the enthusiasm to mix. If you go at 60, it's better. So to reiterate on those, obviously, retire early because that's the healthiest you're probably ever going to be in that, in that retirement period. Your strength and vigour. You'll have time to make up those long and short-term goals and achieve them. You'll be able to fill in most of the bucket list, maybe all of the bucket list, all of the things you wanted to do if you retire early. You can establish yourself long-term in an organisation or body that you've always wanted to be in, work your way up to the top, being the executive, maybe even the president, if you retire early. And the final thing is making those long lasting friendships. If you retire at 60, you might have certain friends retiring around the same time who you meet in your retirement and be friends with them for a quarter of a century or more. Retire early as you can. Those are just some of the benefits, the five listed here, of retiring as early as you can.